Hello, and welcome to Knit All the Yarn podcast. My name is Lisa, and I live in Michigan with my husband and my kiddos. And this is episode 171. I got my coffee and my scrappy Sunday mug. It's Friday. It's Friday, September 16th, 2022. Coffee, pumpkin spice creamer, the huge. Um, this is my YouTube channel where I share my knitting, crocheting, cross stitch, whatever crafty thing I'm up to. I've noticed a little increase in subscribers, so thank you if you're new for checking me out. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back and watching my awkward little podcast. Today is all knitting. I have two finished objects and five whips. Whoops. I had a little cast on itis this week. A small case of cast on itis. Yes. Okay. Um, I'll have the show notes down below where you can find me. I'm most active on Instagram. My Revelry group. See my Ravelry name. There's a truck going by. Sorry if that's loud. Um, what else? Yarn, pattern, bags, all the links will be down there. I will also have my Ko-Fi down there if you would like to support my little podcast. And if you have donated in the past, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, what else? Oh, also I have a giveaway on my last episode. So if you haven't watched it yet, go back to episode 170, um, follow the prompt, and put your comment over in that one. This one does not count, so I'm not going to talk about what it is, because I don't want to confuse anybody. Um, I'm doing a pattern giveaway over there on my other episode, so check it out. Next week, I will announce the winner on episode 172 which will be, I didn't write the date down, next Friday, whatever next Friday is. <laughs> okay, I think that's my spiel. I'm going to try to make it short. I don't know. I got lots of whips. I don't know. What, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? We got two weeks before the mystery knit along, and I'm just casting stuff on willy-nilly here. Okay, let's do finished objects. Aren't they beautiful? So this is Night Owl Fibers, Night Bus. The heels are in Lolo Did It, Coal Miner's Daughter. Oh, I love these so much. 64 stitches I do a, um, after that heel. I don't do waist yarn, I just pick up stitches above and below and snip snip. Um, 12 rows of two by two rib. US 1.5, which is a 2.5 millimeter. Don't, uh, I, okay, it seems like every time I try to get these to match, it doesn't. So this is why I'm like, I don't care if they don't match because, I mean, if they pretty much match, but look at this. <laughs> One has just a little bit of purple on it. But other than that, they pretty much match. I was just like, wait, really? Really? So, yeah, I don't know what happened, but it was really, really close. <laughs> it's okay. These are for me. Oh, amazing. All right, that is finished object number one. Finish object number two. Oh, I'm a little sad about this. You know, I was, I was making it and I'm like, you know what? This seems a little big. Nah, it'll be fine. It's too big. But it's beautiful. 
I mean, it's not too big, but it's bigger than I would like. So I finished my scrappy Musselburgh, Musselburgh, that one hat that nobody can pronounce. So here is the other side. I'm going to try to do this on camera. So here it is. And then you take, this is going to be hard to do, but you take one end <laughs> and then you just shove it up in there. <laughs> and that is the hat. So I used all scraps. I used the little nuggets. I'll show my bag here. This is my said bag of yarn nuggets. And look, I still have a lot. So spoiler alert, oh, what did I cast on? Oh, I didn't talk about what I'm wearing. Okay, let's, uh, I'll try it on here. And I'll show you how big it is. I mean, it's not, I don't know. Maybe I'm over exaggerating. My hair's still a little wet. Uh, I don't know if you can see it's slouchy which I love a slouchy hat I don't even know if I'm in camera or if you can hear me but that is the hat oh, I love it so yeah that's it I don't know if I'll leave it on here but I'll leave it on for a second while I show you what I'm wearing because I forgot this is my bubbles and brioche by Stephen West Isn't it beautiful? I've been wanting to make this one for a really long time, but brioche, I was scared. I'm still kind of nervous about brioche, but this is all nitpick stroll, black and white, and then just various scrappy colors that I had in my stash. All right, it has coming off because it's hot, but yep. So those are my finished objects. So with the hat, I had a, a little snafu with the hat. I'm like, I wrote down what pattern I used, what pattern I used, what needle I used, um, and the size. But I did not write down my gauge or my stitch count. And she updated her pattern for smaller gauges. So when I, and that messed me up. So when I did that pattern, I, you know, followed it. I measured my gauge and I'm like, okay, that's the size I'm making and it's a little too big. So, um, yeah, this, but I have a whip that we'll talk about in a little bit here. So yeah, that was a bummer, but I have, I think I've fixed the problem and we'll talk about it in a minute. And that's all my finished objects. A hat and a pair of socks. Okay, are we ready for whips? Oh, this is whips slash acquisitions. Oh. If you were able to get one of these bags, I'm sorry to say, I will link her shop down below. This is Amy from Happy Little Yarn. She does not have any in her shop right now. She had an update and she like sold out. I'm so happy for her. So this is Happy Little Yarn. <gasps> Pumpkin Spice Bag. Oh, that has an acquisition inside of it. Talk about that later. Um, yep. So this is Night Owl Fibers. And this is her DK 75 Superwash Merino 25% Nylon. And the colorway is Spooky Fun 22. She had a pre-order for this in August, July or August, I don't remember. And if you didn't get it then, I'm sorry, you probably can't get it. So, oh, I love these. Okay, I have, so I took the skein, divided it in half, and I'm going to try to use pretty much all of it. 
I found out how much it takes for my toes and my heels when I weighed my last DK skein of socks. So I got a, I got a method. So we're just going to go with it. Oh, look at this. Oh. So these are DK weight socks. If you're curious about my markers, I will leave a link down below. I'm going to do my afterthought heel right here where these white ones are. I knit my magic loop, uh, Ch Chagu red lace. Ambulance going by. Uh, what are these? I think these are threes. Yep, threes, 3.25 millimeter. Uh, 48 stitches. I do 12 rows. Dang, I do 12 rows of two by two rib. That doesn't sound good, it's getting closer. Hopefully everybody's, everybody's okay. Yikes. So, yeah, 48 stitches. Um, I followed the K of the Crazy Sock Ladies. Um, DK weight vanilla pattern. I don't know if I said that right, but it will be linked down below. Um, yeah. The only modification I do is I put an afterthought heel in mine. She has a uh, heel flap and gusset. I am at the heel and I do have the second sock cast on. Come on, come on, there we go. So there, I just have the cuff done. Oh. I'm gonna go, I think we're gonna go see my parents tomorrow. So I'm gonna take these with me oh. and my scale. Oh Lord. I love these, these will be done next week. No problem. They would have been had more progress on them, but I got sidetracked. You'll see here in my next whip. I think that's it. I feel like there's something else I should say about that, but I don't know. I think I said everything. If not, just check my show notes. They're usually pretty good. Okay, whip number two. This is the accidental cast on I don't know um okay so K of the crazy sock lady is hosting a scrappy stripy sock cal that's the hashtag I think she's Instagram and Ravelry I think don't quote me on that but go over to her Instagram and she has all of her details she started this cal on yesterday and I think it's I don't know when it ends I want to say the end of November. I could be wrong. Maybe it's the middle of November. I'm thinking November. And I've seen her make these socks so many times. It's like, I need to do this. I need to do this. Um, so I'm like, fine. Now is the time to do it, I guess, because she has a uh, knit along. <laughs> and I'm only a little, you know, leery about... I'm gonna have to do some math and I think that's what made me say I don't want to do that and I don't want to do that so we're just gonna try it see what happens um, yeah I'm really unsure about this cuff so her socks her leg is really short compared to mine I think in this case the uh, leg is going to be 56 stitches. I like to do like 70. So these are going to be shorter for me. So I don't know. That's going to be a problem. I guess we'll just find out. But here's what I have. So I did a super long cuff and it looks really weird. Probably just because I'm used to, this is 24 rows. I'm used to doing like 12. So I think that's why it looks weird to me. So I started my stripes. I'm doing 64 stitches. 24 rows of 2x2 two two rib, red lace, uh, chagu red lace, and these are 1.5, US 
I feel like I'm saying that and I feel like I messed up my needle size for something I just said. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. If I said my DK weight socks were on a 2.5, that was a big fat lie. Maybe I'm thinking about my whip or my finish object. I'm like, I feel like I just said it already. <laughs> anyway, 64 stitches. Um, US 1.5, which is a 2.5 millimeter, 32 inch cord, magic loop, cuff down. I gotta weave in all my ends. Not a problem. That doesn't bother me. So here are my colors for the stripes. And this is part of Hugh Loco's uh, glow stick collection. I just picked out seven colors that looked pretty. And I said, okay, let's go for it. Didn't really think about um, my stripes too much, but I'm gonna do a stripe, a variegated or speckled in between a like tonal solid one. So I think that'd be cool. Um, yeah, so these are gonna be shorter. I don't know if I'm gonna like that but we're gonna try it. And I'm unsure about the heel. Well, the heel's fine. It's the it's the foot. Because at the right before you start your toe, you do smaller stripes in the same sequence. That's the part that's gonna hang me up. Where I'm like, do I stop? Do I keep going? So I am keeping very, very good notes in case I absolutely love these and I wanna make more. So. Yeah, I'm keeping good notes. Count my rows. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> and I just had this one. Yeah, this is all I did. So yeah, I did this yesterday. I got obsessed. I would probably work on these today. And I'll probably finish the stripes and start the, the foot. And we'll see. I hope it doesn't get boring with this part of this gray in the foot. I might get bored. I don't know. You will see. So that is whip number two. And that's all my sock whips. Okay, whip number three. So I finished this one. And I said, should I cast on another one? I did. <laughs> so this is for the, this is um, Bags by Awesome Granny. I didn't show the bag. Did I show the bag? And this is um, also Amy. Happy little yarn. I think she got some of this fabric. I can't. I don't want to. I think she did. Don't quote me on that. Just check out her shop. Check out her Instagram. She's, I think she's playing another op update in October, so, yeah. Oh, I can't wait. I gotta be good, though. I've been buying way too much stuff this week. We'll talk about that later. This is Bags by Awesome Granny. And this is another scrappy Musselburra, Musselburg hat for the knit along. And since this is also an acquisition, so we'll just talk about it real quick. I'll talk about it again later, but I bought, um, this is Twin at Mountain Handcrafts and I am obsessed with their, um, I'm obsessed with their website and I'm obsessed with their stitch markers. So this is the set for the MCAL. Um, they had a, like a giveaway, post your scraps, and we'll draw a winner. Well, I didn't win, but um, they had them for sale, so I bought some. And I figured, well, since I bought the stitch markers, I might as well buy. I might as well make another hat, right? Because I have more said scraps. So here's the other two. This is the little monster. Oh, he's so cute. So whenever she does her monster sock cal, or if she does another one of these. I'm definitely going to be using these stitch markers. And this one says MM Cal 2022 for the Monster Musselberg Cal. So we're using those. And here is my hat. Okay. 
my yarn sticking in there. Now with this one, doing a different size, different stitch count. Same size needles. I think these are US 2.5s. 2.5s? Nope, threes. US 3, 3.25. So I'm still making the adult medium. And I am doing the gauge, the stitch count for gauge, seven stitches per inch instead of eight. That's what I did for this one. I did eight, eight stitches per inch. And the stitch count for that was, I think, 144 stitches. It's kind of big. So this one is seven stitches per inch and it's 128 stitches. And I think this is the one I used to make because I think the pattern used to only go to seven stitches per inch for gauge. That was the lowest or the highest, whatever you want to say. She changed her pattern on me and that messed me up. So we're just going to try again here. Yeah, so this is what I have already. I put my little stitch marker here so we'll see my progress. This is, I is marking after I was done with my decreases or increases. So here it is. And I use the crochet pinhole cast on. That is easier, but it's really, really messy. So I suggest leaving a really long tail and weaving in the ends and cinching it up because that's what I did. I used to use the disappearing uh, loop cast on. It's, it's kind of fiddly. The cast on's fiddly. I'd, I wish there was an easier way to do this, but I've tried a few methods and this one seems to be the best out of the two that I tried. Now I only tried two, but um, I, when I cast on, I do mine, my increases magic loop. And then when I get to the increases, I put it on a 16 inch cord. Yeah, it's just, it's just fiddly. I, I don't, I have no tips. But that is the hat. We'll see how much I get done. I'm gonna work on this later today. We'll talk about that in life stuff, but yeah. And I think that's it. Oh, I forgot to say the gray in my stripey, scrappy socks is Legacy Fiber Arts. Pew pewter. I don't know how to say that. Is that how you say it? It sounds funny to me, but that's the gray in those. Oops. Like I said, my show notes are pretty good. Check them out. Oh, feet are starting to fall asleep. All right, I think that's it. 16 inch cord, US threes, scraps from this said bag. There's tonals, there's um, self striping in there. A lot of scraps from my Cozy Memories blanket. I, I wind off five grams, but I think it takes like three to do a square. So there's just little bits. So yeah, and this, I grabbed all of my 75, 25 uh, base for this. So yep, this is my bag. Obviously I probably have enough to make five hats it looks like, but we're gonna do one more for the cow. And then that's probably it. Because Stephen West is trying to lock is coming. All right, whip number four. I'm looking at my notes here. Yep, okay. Making sure I'm grabbing the right one. Another happy little yarn bag. <laughs> All right, and this is my Star Wars cowl. This is my 30 minutes of knitting. Or 45 minutes, you know, whatever. <laughs> Oh, shawl. And I'm, this is the litmus cowl with heavy modifications. Maybe not heavy, but I did provisional cast on, 100 stitches. I'm using a US, I mean, I just looked at this. Can we just, 
US 2.5, a three millimeter. I think the pattern calls for a four. And I don't like that gauge too loose for me. So I just changed my needle size. So here it is. I added the fifth color. One, two, three. One, two, three. Fifth color. Here, I was here last Friday, so I did all that. So this one is the Rebel, which I believe is Han. I think, pretty sure. Yeah, I don't know, it's just mindless, boring knitting, I guess, kind of. <laughs> so here is what I have left. I think it's like 12 grams-ish. So yeah. I don't know, nothing else. This is my Chewbacca Yeti from Simply Serving. I got him a few years ago. And since it was Star Wars, he has to come live on this one. I haven't used him in a while. All right, let's move him up here. And we can see how much I'd, I get done this week. I already did my, my 30 minutes today, so. I don't know, I think I did 45 minutes today. Sometimes I like to just put on an episode of like a show, like Grey's Anatomy, and I'll just knit until it's done. And those are like 40 minutes. So I don't know, 35, 30 to 45 minutes, I'm gonna call it. <laughs> All right, that is that whip. All right, last whip, we're almost there. This is a bag that my mom made for me a long, long time ago. And she will never again because she hates zippers. <laughs> and I don't blame her. I don't like zippers. I tried to sew a zipper. It did not work. Sewing machines in and uh, me don't get along very well. That, that's just the way it is, I guess. <laughs> okay, this is my cozy memories blanket. And I did seven squares this week. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one is Desert Vista Dye Works. Ugh. Some about love and you, like the sheep. I don't know. Oh, I think it's somebody loves you. E W E. I think that's what it is. This is mustache yarn. Everything it's awesome. Don't know. This is a Cozy Knitter Advent some year. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. And this is Lolo did it. Daryl. I heart Daryl. Oh, I love this colorway. It's my fave. I love Daryl. I think Walking Dead's coming back, isn't it? So yeah, this is my Cozy Memories. I have 21 squares. Woo. That's the back. I will be weaving a man's. Oh, that's like my windspan. My my wingspan. Oh, geez. Stretch it out, Lisa. Stretch it out. <laughs> so I'm going to do 25 squares across. So I'm at 21. So this week I will start the second row. And then I can start weaving in my ends as I go. I'm doing The Coziest Memories by Kemper Ray. I have signature needles. US 2s, 2.75 needles. I absolutely love these. They are a little pricey, but these are a birthday present for myself. And I love them for this project. It's worth it. And here's all of my balls. Getting low. I had my kids pick out 25 out of here to uh, make myself a little scrappy advent. I can't wait to see what they picked. So yeah, um, I'm doing 20. The only modification is 20 by 20 stitches. And um, for you can see my V's here. I tried to explain this a few times and I hope I'm, make, I hope I'm making sense. But when I, the beginning, the beginning of the row, and the end. Okay. So when I do my first row, I slip the first stitch purlwise, knit, um, and then when I get to the last three stitches, 
the last three stitches? No. The last stitch, I knit through the back loop. And I do that for every row, whether it's a decrease row or an increase row, or a regular row. This doesn't make any sense. Does this make sense? Do you understand this? If you need clarification. Um, but anyway, when you do that, it leaves these V's and it's like so much easier to pick up. Now when you get to the end here, like the last two rows, I can't do that just because I'm uh, decreasing two stitches. So then I just kind of have to pick up two right there, but then the rest of them, it's easy breezy. Sorry if that didn't make sense, but here's my blanket. I guess not my blanket. This is for my daughter. My daughter's blanket. Oh, it's getting like big enough now where I can fold it. This makes me so happy. Oh, look at this, it's like a little cozy memory sandwich with lots of ends. <laughs> okay, that is that. That's all my whips. That's it. That's it. Okay. Let's fall asleep. All right, let's talk about stash real quick, because I, I have a little oopsie moment here. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Let's see. So Freckled Whimsy had a sale, a birthday sale, and she had this colorway, and I've had my eye on it for a long time. I'm like, oh, I might need it. I have to have it. So I just bought it. This is Honey Dukes. Oh, it's beautiful. This is her 7525 base. Ooh, serendipity. Oh, it's beautiful. So I opened it and I'm like, hmm, that looks oh, that looks familiar. So my friend got me this skein. It's called Happy Dance. It's the same exact thing. It's the same exact thing. Now, after I look at this tag, there is this has a tag over top of it, and I can see Honey Dukes underneath of it. <laughs> so now I have two skeins, but you know what? That's okay. So I'm thinking, um, one of these, I will make shorty socks for my friend and I, and then this one will be a muscle burr. Uh, wouldn't that be cool? A stripey muscle burr, muscle burr hat. So I think that's what the plan is. Hat, two shorties. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> so yeah, I got two skeins in that. It's okay. I really love the color and I probably will not be uh, upset knitting it twice. All right, and then my Night Owl Fibers Christmas. It's just called Christmas 2022. Same thing with the Halloween one. This is her Christmas. Uh, it's not. She didn't call it her Advent because it's not 24 stripes. It was just a special colorway, I guess. This is also you can't buy this now because the pre-order is already closed. But so this is also the DK. I got both of them on DK this year because I'm obsessed with DK socks. So yep, there's the tag. Superwash Merino, 25% nylon, 246 yards. And then I we talked about my my new obsession with the twin mountain handcrafts. I had to get the coffee ones. I bought some of these for gifts, so uh, Amy. Amy from Happy Little Yarn, don't buy these, okay? 
because I bought you some for Christmas. <laughs> Spoiler! Oh, but look at the little coffee pots. Little coffee beans. To go cup. And I did buy more. Because she had... Uh, she came out with um, Halloween ones. I purchased them yesterday. So they're on their way. But it's not yarn. It's not yarn. I bought a lot of stuff this week. Bought more stitch markers. Oh, I did buy a skein of yarn. Like, just before I recorded. Um... West Yorkshire Spinners came out with their Christmas colorway. I have to get that. It's called Gingerbread. Um, I got it on Wool & Co. So go check them out. That's where I like to buy my West Yorkshire Spinners because they're really close to me and they're super fast shipping. And I only bought one skein, but somehow I got free shipping. They must be doing a deal. So I'm like... So, yeah, I bought one skein of yarn. September is not good for my yarn purchasing. My yarn in and out, I don't think it's, I think it's going to be opposite. Last month I did so good. I got like 11 skeins out and I only added three or four. Mm, I don't know. Right now I think my, my in is a little um, higher than my out right now, but we will see. It's fine. I'm doing scrappy projects. Okay, I think that's it for stash. What else did I buy? I bought some more needles from Kay of the Crazy Sock Lady because she had a birthday sale and I got a pin. I bought some more small uh, stitch stitch markers, just the round ones from Stunning String. That's where I bought them before. Those little rings, I lose them all the time. So I bought some more of those. I bought more stitch markers from from here and uh, what else did I buy? Oh that West Yorkshire Spinners. So only one skein of yarn. A lot of little goodies. Okay. It happens. I just gotta be good next week. This week was, it was a rough week so maybe that's why I bought a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Okay, looking at my notes, reading and watching real quick. Reading, the only thing I'm reading is Outlander right now. I think I'm listening I'm listening to it. I have like 20 hours left. I'm getting there. It's really good. I love it. So good. Um, watching, pretty much same thing for watching. We are, my husband and I are watching Mer Merlin, season three. We're watching Vikings, season six. We're almost done. We're on the last part of season six. So season six, volume two, I think is what's, what they call it. We just, we just started it last night. So, oh, it's good. And I'm watching on my own. I'm watching Grey's Anatomy. I'm almost done with season 15. I think I have like three episodes left. I might watch a couple today. This morning while I work on the squares. And Seinfeld season seven. I feel like I'm almost done with that too. So that's it for reading and watching. All right, life stuff real fast. So I'm here. If you watched my last episode, uh, my youngest daughter was sick and I'm like, and look, I'm here. I'm not sick. Rock on wood. Rock, 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 rock. <laughs> my uh, oldest daughter did get sick. So, uh, my youngest daughter missed school on Friday. My oldest missed school on Monday. My youngest is all better. My oldest is pretty much there almost. Maybe in the next... I'm thinking by Monday she'll be all good. So, yeah, that was a little stressful. Having sick kids and wondering if it's COVID. And, um... All right, I'm not going to get into it. Um, <laughs> we did not get them tested. That's all I'm going to say. And it wasn't, it wasn't my choice. But anyway, nobody else got sick. So I think it was just a little cold. No fevers. Just runny nose and stuffy congestion. So that's all. And sore throats a little bit. So that was it. My husband didn't get sick. I didn't get sick. So <clears throat> pretty sure it wasn't COVID. Because I feel like once COVID is in the household, everybody gets it. I don't know. Maybe not. 
but that's what I've heard from other people. Uh, what, uh, what else? My kids had picture day this week, <clears throat> which is also why I was a little uh, stressed out that they were getting sick right before picture day. Um, I mean, it's not a big deal. There is makeups, but um, if they do their makeups, that's it. I, I can't uh, say, well, I'll get another one just in case. This one I didn't like, but <clears throat> most of the time I've never had them do makeup pictures. So I don't know why I'm worried about it. <laughs> and then my oldest daughter had to have some teeth removed. This just seems like torture. This just seems like child abuse and I knew about it. We had the scheduled, she had her orthodontist appointment in August and there was a piece of a tooth that was still hanging on. The other tooth came in, it just wouldn't come out. So they had to pull a piece of it out. And then on the other side, same tooth, other side, they decided to just pull that one. So she wouldn't have that same issue. My kids are very, like when they get loose teeth, they do not want you touching them. They will hang there for days and days and days. They just don't like, it hurts to them to pull their teeth out when they're really wiggly. So I think that's why that little piece was stuck in there because it just came out in pieces because it was just hanging there forever. <laughs> anyway, they were both baby teeth. So, I mean, it seems, it seems, I don't know, my heart hurt. And I was very stressed all week worrying about this, <laughs> which is why I probably bought a bunch of stuff. But the week is over. We are all good. She is fine. They didn't have to um, put her under, which was like, you go girl. <laughs> they did numb it and pull them out and she was fine. She didn't like the numbing sensation that took up like a few hours to like disappear. But after that, she's like, that doesn't hurt her at all. What? I just had teeth pulled out and it doesn't hurt. I guess I'm a more of a, I am pretty good with like tolerance, pain tolerance. I think I just, I worry and worry and worry about it. And then it happens. And then I'm like, why did I worry about that? That's how I am <laughs> with most, most procedures or doctor appointments or anything of that nature. So yeah, that was my week. I'm thankful that I wasn't sick. So thank you all for your healing vibes that you sent me last week. They worked. <laughs> all right, let's, let's end this. Yep. My Fitbit says it's time to get up. It's time to get up. Thank you all for watching. Like, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, put them right down there. I do love reading them. And yeah, I think that's it. Hopefully I will see you next week. Bye.